Let me send out my text message reminder to let people know that I am here. Hello, hello everyone. This is Jen with Jen's DNR and we are back for, oh, let's check the day. What day are we on? What day are we on? Let's see. Um, 21. Oh my goodness. The countdown is here. Day number 21 of 30. We, we are coming down to the end. Let's see if I can send this message out. Live now. Come and join me. So say hello when you get on. I'm so glad we're here tonight. Thank you for being patient with me. I am... Um, I postponed our live just a tad bit today just so I could take care of some other business that I had going on, but I was not going to let you down. I was going to be here live no matter if it was raining or snowing or sleeting or sunshining, whatever it was, I was going to make sure that I made it. Oh, I'm echoing. I know what I need to do to fix that. Thank you very much. And that should fix the problem. Hello, hello. Oh, I'm so excited. Look at all the people we have on tonight. Hello, Carrie. And Francisco is back. God Almighty blesses everyone. Amen. And Jean is here. And Tribe Sister from Tennessee. That's got to be Miss... Uh, Sandra Leanne there. Miss Elaine and Miss Ellen. Hi, Miss Cindy. Thank you for coming on tonight. And Miss Cheryl and Miss Robin. I know, isn't time flying by so fast? Uh, yeah, time is flying by fast for me as well. It is flying by fast for me. <laughs> Hello, Miss Connie. How are you? Hey, Michael. Michael is back for some more, and Diana is back for some more. I'm so excited that y'all are here. Y'all, I would show you all of the paintings on my iPad, but it's dead. So I'll catch up on that tomorrow. Today is going to be a short um, video. And what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about how to finish your painting. Okay, that is one of the main uh, questions that I had when I asked for the survey on um, how do you finish your paintings. Okay, so I'm actually going to take you through a couple of days of how I like to finish my paintings and um, there's really not one way to finish your paintings. So I just want to make that clear. Just because I am doing this doesn't mean that we all have to do this. But this is what we're going to do. Let me see if I can find some. Nope. It looks like I'm, I've used up all of my little cups here. So, two things that I like to do. One of them is if I'm working on a piece of wood. And let me see if I can find it really quick. earlier we are rearranging stuff in our in our shop to make more room for more stuff and I don't know what we did with it so I like to use especially when I'm working on wood I like to use a spray polyurethane okay that's all I do is I spray it with the polyurethane and it you can get the polyurethane in either a gloss finish or a matte finish. I am a matte type of girl. I don't like a lot of gloss, but a lot of people do like gloss. Okay, so um, so just keep that in mind. Some of you have even, and I have not done this, but some of you have even resined your pieces. Okay, and if you put resin on it, that's a, to I have never used resin, so I don't have any information on that. Um, but I can tell you, hello, Miss Robin. I can tell you that it does make, hi, Kimberly and Miss Pat and 
and Melanie and Margaret. Thank y'all all for coming on. I really, really appreciate it. So this is our painting. You remember last night we finished our painting. And um, I'm going to just share with you very, very little information on this. This was painted on an 11 by 14 canvas. Okay, it is a thin canvas. I didn't even finish the sides of it yet. And the reason why I didn't finish the sides of it is because we like to frame our pieces. We like to frame our pieces um, here in, in my house. My husband helps me do that. And let's see if I have one. Here's one that I have to paint that's already been framed. See, we create, we actually build our own frames. And I'm going to share with you how we do that. So, um, very, very simple. So, this is an example of something that's already framed. So, I don't really worry about finishing the sides. But what I'm going to do here is... Let me see if I can do this. I'm going to change my view. There we go. Okay. I'm going to change my view and I'm going to show you what I'm working with here. So I bought a satin varnish. Okay. A satin varnish. And um, what this varnish is going to do, you can get this in a matte finish. You can get it in a satin, which is like in between the matte and the shiny. Or you can get it in a gloss finish, okay? And this is from Hobby Lobby. It's a Master's Touch brand. And this satin varnish is going to protect my piece in a number of different ways. First of all, it's going to, um, it's going to kind of seal in the pigment of the paint, okay? It's going to allow the, the, the paint color to stay and not get faded, all right? And it's going to protect my piece from dust. I mean, yeah, your piece can still get dust on it and all. But it's going to give you that layer that's going to protect it. And it's going to be easier to, like, wipe the dust off. Okay? So it's not just the acrylic paint on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, it's almost like a, it's kind of thick, actually. Let me see if I can stir it up. It's almost like a um, almost like a, like a white paint color to be exact. But I'm gonna add just a little bit of water to it. See how thick it is? I'm gonna add just a little bit of water to it just to make it move a little thinner and a little easier. So that little spray bottle that I had is just a mister. And I'm going to stir this up. And I'm going to use a very soft bristled brush. Let me show you what I have here. I have two of them. This one here is a very soft bristled brush. You can see how soft it is. Okay, and it's wet, so that's why it's doing like it is. And I'm just going to take this varnish, and don't be super crazy with the direction that you go, because you kind of want your strokes to go all in one direction. You don't want to, you know, have all different kind of strokes. Now, this is going to dry clear, so don't worry about the color that it's adding on top. But you're going to want to add anywhere from two to three layers of this varnish on top of your piece. And you're going to want to let it dry in between the layers. Make sure you let it dry in between the layers. So you might even want to let it dry like overnight, which is why I didn't... Um, show you how to do this yesterday because you know we had just finished painting the painting. So I'm just going to varnish over this really nice and thin. I like to do thin layers and um, come back like the next day and do another thin layer. But you have to give it time. It's not something that you can rush. 
So give yourself about a week before you're ready to, um, you know, if you're going to sell the painting or if you're going to hang the painting up, give yourself about a week to let the varnish dry and um, put your extra coats of varnish on here. Now, I'm using a satin, and a satin is kind of like a mixture of um, gloss and matte. So it's kind of like, I consider it kind of like an eggshell finish. So it's gonna have a little bit of gloss to it, but you're also gonna notice that it really protects the colors of your painting. So I'm going to stop with this one layer and I'm just going straight back and forth from right to left. I'm going to stop with this one layer. I'm going to let it draw overnight and then I'm going to come back with a second coat. I usually put two coats of this on my painting and you can already see that, yes, it is varnish. So... <laughs> Um, let's see, Miss Diana said, how long do you have to wait for the acrylics to dry? You should probably wait about three or four days for the acrylics to dry, especially if you have texture. I am not, okay, so do as I say, not as I do. I know y'all heard that before. <laughs> so I finished painting this yesterday, all right? And because of all of the layers I have underneath here, I would probably want to let this dry for two or three days to make sure that it's completely dry before I put the, the varnish. But since I wanted to show you about the varnish and I didn't want to skip any lives and I wanted to keep this, you know, going, I am putting the varnish probably a little bit sooner than I would normally put a varnish. But it's okay. We all understand what we're doing, right? Okay, so that's a very good question, Diana. Um, does the varnish have a smell? No, this one does not. No smell at all. I mean, like the smell of paint, you know, just very, very little. And so the varnish is a lot better to use than if I were using my spray can of polyurethane, which I like to use on my wood pieces, I have to go outside to spray that stuff. And I basically just buy the, the stuff at Home Depot in, in the cans, and it's a clear polyurethane. I like to use that on wood. I don't know why I like to use that on wood, but I love this on canvas. Um, you can already see that the piece has a, has a much nicer color pop to it, and um, it's going to just give it a great seal. But like I said, I'm going to do two coats. I'm going to wait overnight. I'm going to let this varnish dry. And then I'm going to put a second coat on top of this tomorrow. I mean, I'm not going to do a video of it because you pretty much saw what I did. But, um, but yeah, that's, I mean, today is kind of short and sweet. But let me see if you have. I do sound better tonight, don't I, Michael? Yeah, it's just this crazy... Now, we're having really good weather right now. We're having massive winds. So the smoke is going away. And we're having, like, it was 40 degrees this morning. You see how I have my, my long sleeves on? So we're having great weather where the, the winds kind of took some of the smoke away. So, uh, so, yeah, that's really good. Can you show us the bottle again? Yes, ma'am. This is kind of like a generic brand. You can buy it in um, in Golden, the Golden brand. You can buy it in Liquitex. You can buy it in all different brands, okay? But this is a master's touch, and it was $8.99. Now, remember, every other week, master's touch is 50% off at Hobby Lobby. So if you go to their store, you can get this for $4.50. And it'll last you for a really, really long time. So, um, yeah, it protects your, your paint from UV rays. It protects it from yellowing. It protects it from dust. And it helps keep the colors um, really, really shiny. So I had a lot of you ask about this. And I wanted to make sure that I spent a little bit of time talking to you. What was the name of the spray that you said we could use to finish? 
Uh, okay, if y'all give me just a second, I'm going to find that bottle. I don't know what Michael did with it. Hang on one second. Let's see where it is. Okay, I'm not gonna waste y'all time. I don't I don't know what he did with it, but I had I don't know what the name of it is. I'm gonna have to find the spray. It's like it looks like a can of spray paint, but it's clear polyurethane in a spray can. And I get it from um I get it from Home Depot and Lowe's and I love to use that on my wood pieces. So I usually spray my wood pieces with that. And I usually buy the matte finish because I don't know. I don't know why I'm not really big on shiny, shiny stuff. So, but I know most people are big on shiny stuff. So maybe I need to start broadening my horizons and get into all that shiny stuff. Ah, yes, Miss Amy. Absolutely, you can put this on Rust-Oleum. Yes, that's it. It is Rust-Oleum. Yes. It is a Rust-Oleum brand. Thank you, Monica. Um, yes, you can put this on paintings that have been done a while back. Yes. I finally found you. <laughs> Miss Linda. So, um, in the Acrylic 101, I, um, I go live every day in the Acrylic 101. And I'm late today. I did not go live earlier today. Uh, like I was supposed to. So I'm live on the Acrylic 101 and Jen's Den Art every day. I make sure I go live in those two groups every day. Okay, or Jen's Den Art is not a group. It's my business page. So yes, rust -oleum, the varnish does make the colors more vibrant. Yes, it really does. It really does. And when you put another coat over it, it's just going to make it even more beautiful. So... That little bit of varnish, it really does make a big difference in your final product. So I would highly recommend that you use a varnish. And um, like I said, after you finish your painting, you should give it two to three to four days after you finish your painting and let the acrylic paint dry completely, which I did not do today, but I just wanted to show you the varnish. And then as you put your coats of varnish, Put two to three coats of varnish, depending on how much you want. Just play around with it. I usually put two and wait a day in between the coats of varnish. So you're looking at at least an extra week after you complete your painting to get that final finish on there. And then over the next couple of days, I'm going to show you some um, techniques that Michael and I use to actually frame our pieces and we have three different framing techniques that we use now, depending on what our canvases are. Sometimes I use canvas boards, sometimes I use wood, and sometimes I use canvas, um, you know, actual canvas, like thicker canvas. So we're going to show you different options for framing as well. All right, so does anybody else have any questions? Yes, Diana, I did get to look at some of your chapel paintings. So I purposely set the, um, the notifications to where I have to approve everybody's post. So today, when I had a few minutes, I went in and I had to approve about 15 posts. And I was so excited. Somebody, I don't remember who it was, but somebody painted some little flowers. And it, it looks like some... Um, Oh, we don't have these up north, but y'all have them in the south. The, um, the trees that make the flowers, what are they called? What are they called? We had them all over my yard in the south in Louisiana. Y'all help me. Yes, I do use the spray on the wood cradles. That is what I use. Um, the trees that make the flowers. Help me. Not magnolia. The other ones, crepe myrtles, crepe myrtles. Yes, Miss Pat, crepe myrtles. So somebody painted their church and it looks like they put crepe myrtles in the front of it. It is so pretty. I love it. 
So yeah, we're I'm gonna go through all of the paintings tonight and spend some time looking at all of them and we're gonna do shout outs tomorrow. And tomorrow we are we are going live at what's tomorrow? Wednesday. We're going live late at six thirty or seven thirty tomorrow night. So I'll come on and um and we're gonna talk some more, y'all. And I have some more bonuses coming for y'all. So stay tuned for more. Yeah, I used to have a ton of crepe myrtles as well. I miss crepe myrtles. Y'all have those in Northern Virginia. We don't have any of that in Montana. It's all like spruce Christmas trees everywhere. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm going to head on out. Today is a pretty short video. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, I am using a satin varnish. You can get this in a matte varnish. You can get this in a um, in a gloss varnish as well, a shiny varnish. So, all right. Y'all have a good night. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye.